In today's Imperator Rome A to Z, we play in an underappreciated area, trying to take a small Sri Lankan miner surrounded by hostile faiths and cultures from the depths of despair to taking on the might of the Mauryan Empire. Can we rise from nothing to become the greatest power in India? Well, stay tuned to find out. And here we are as Anna Radhapura, guys. This little boy down on the north of Sri Lanka in the Indian subcontinent. Their heritage is relatively good for that found city cost modifier. They are Vedic religion, which isn't great for that pop promotion speed minus. And Lankan culture, which is also not great for our military. The one saving grace is that we have this awesome Chadman of a leader that is really, really good at the start. And we have a decent amount of pops as well. It's never good when you load in and there's a civil war already about to start, guys. <laughs> this nation is very interesting for one main reason, guys. If we have a look at our culture, we can see we are Lankan, which is the northwestern Indian subgroup of cultures. And our religion is Vedic. Uh, which is the northern Indian religion rather than Agamic. So everything we take around here once we get into India itself is going to be the wrong religion and wrong culture. So it's a really interesting start. And I have done a couple of test runs as these guys by myself. And I've got to tell you, it's a relatively difficult start. But what do we do as this nation? Well, today we are going to be trying to unite southern India and eventually maybe take on the Mauryans. But hopefully we just can do our missions and have a bit of fun. Ideas wise, we're going to go for morale of armies. We're going to go for build cost and we're also going to go for civilization. And unfortunately for us, all of these other pops around here get war elephants. So our armies are going to be crap at the start. Tech wise, guys, we are getting dis discipline from professional training and active drill. Then we're going to get open religion so we can start converting our pops a little better when we can afford great temples. And we're going to get the first rung on the ladder towards gradual economic integration. Let's choose our personal deity and it's going to be Krishna for that assimilation speed and stability change. Nice. And we can basically import nothing. <laughs> and let's take our mission, guys. Legacy of Pandu Kabaya. I'm very sorry if my pronunciation is completely wrong, guys. In three 367 BC, Pandu Kabaya, our greatest king, died. During his reign, Anuradha Pura ruled over all of Lanka, but now we are but one of many who seek for domination over the island. Meanwhile, in the north, trouble is brewing. The newly formed Mauryan Empire looks ever so power hungry. Perhaps Devanampiyatissa Vijaya could lead us from past glories to maybe something more. Let's go. And it is a nice mission tree, so we are going to be going down it all. Let's first of all go with the kingdom of Anuradhapura over here. And our mission tree actually allows us to subjugate Rahunu over here. So we are going to get some good relations with them right at the start and let's press play guys and this is the first one of many religious events we're going to have as this nation my king our governors tell of a strange kind of people within our cities they speak a foreign language and sacrifice to different gods they call themselves hellenistic and tell of great kingdoms in the far west they believe our land to be the farthest edge of the world how very peculiar we get some hellenic citizens and now we've become friends with the ruler fantastic this allows us to do matter of rahunu which can make them become a few auditory or make us own the land to start with i think we're gonna own the land to start with and there we go we're nice and big now right let's now get into this little nation over here i have allied a couple of boys because in my previous sort of test runs guys pandaya is very very strong like a lot of these guys down here have more than 20k troops uh, so it's going to be interesting <laughs> when we get to that point. And here we go, Hellenistic converts. My king, the Hellenistic people are becoming increasingly difficult to deal with. At first, we believe them to be just a small proportion of our population. But further investigation shows a truly huge community of them within our kingdom. We receive many complaints, especially from our priests. They demand that the Hellenistic people should either cast aside their false gods or be settled elsewhere in our lands. What should we do? Well, we are going to keep them because we need the population. So we're going to spend a hundred and 25 influence to make them all Lankan. Nice. And look at this, guys. Like, this is the army of Pandaya over here. About 20k troops. There's no way we can compete with that at the minute. Oh, and look at the siege. We've been on 28% since they were on minus 35, and they've caught up with less troops. Thank you, game. Thank you, RNG. And they've overtaken us now. Seems very fair. <laughs> and we lost the siege. Great. That 
just ridiculous. And because of that, they won't even peace out now that we've won the siege. Great. Well, I assaulted the fort, so now we can get out of this war. Good. And now we are a regional power. Very nice. And that allows us to do Dominate Malaya over here, which gains us stability and popularity. Cool. Honestly, though, guys, I think there's only one thing we can do while these boys are fighting this war over here against Kosar. Unfortunately, Chola won't join us. But I think we just need to pounce on it as an opportunity. And we're also going to get this mercenary company over here, guys. Get them on reorganization. Get them ready. And hopefully we can get into this land quick enough that we don't lose and die. <laughs> so let's see. And we really need Chola to come in, which they are not at the moment. By minus two. So I think we are going to send them a gift. It is risky because of our deficit currently. But um, once I take these guys off that it should be a little bit cheaper now let's see and chola will come in now good well there we go let's get into this this is going to be interesting we can now do tamil turbulence which gives us morale of armies and manpower recovery speed nice and it looks like they got rid of their fort over here that's amazing nice and now we can finance our mercs with let the men roam freely awesome let's see if we can take this before we get assailed by their armies. Because we're not going to beat their armies, let's be honest. So I've managed to get some military access over here. I'm hoping we can maybe get round the back. Um, but let's see, guys. If not, if they're going to take this, I will just peace out. We've literally smashed and grabbed them right now. And I'm hoping that they don't do anything about it. But you never know. And unfortunately, it does look like they are going to do something about it, guys. So we are going to take this land... Oh, isn't that glorious? Isn't that glorious with hardly even fighting a battle? Very nice indeed. And now, guys, if we look at our cultures, Pandayan is bigger than our primary culture. So what we are going to do is set it to citizen, integrate it, because it's also part of our missions to do that as well. So we might as well. Let's go. And now we can actually do some form of um, imports and exports, guys. And to do some of our laws, to get away from the traditional Varna system, which is just awful. Look at that. Really not good. We need to do the Master Dorana decision. So as soon as we can do that, we will do. And we need to build five buildings in our capital so that we can do a mission. So let's do that with our stolen money. <laughs> and literally no one over here in this province is Vedic at all. Like literally no one. So, um... Yeah, it's going to be interesting. And now we can finally disband our levies. And let's see. Oh, instantly we have a lot more levies to take next time. Very nice indeed. And now that we've kind of got our foot into the mainland, let's get rid of these forts as well. I don't think we need them. And that will allow us to master Dorana over here. So let's go for that, allowing us to change our laws. Nice. And now we've built those five buildings in our capital. We can take this, giving us legitimacy, popularity, and some nice permanent bonuses in our capital. Ooh, now we get the special special missions for us which is that Ashoka the first Moria is the Raja of Moria and we can become friends with him nice let's uh let's go for that and this converts us to Buddhism so we are going to go down the Buddhism path of course with this very interesting even though Ashoka is still Vedic as well so I'm not 100% <laughs> certain why we convert to Buddhism but interesting nonetheless and there we go Pandayan is now integrated that allows us to get a lot of pops over here for an army now including war elephants that is what we want so now we can import food too because i've built some farming settlements nice and now we're the big boys with the big stacks very cool well, now we can get into this small little nation down in the south let's go for it and if you are enjoying this a to z series guys please do consider giving it a like and a subscribe it really does help the channel out well there we go guys nice and easy we've taken this land as well well this then allows us to do trusting tamils which gives some nice bonuses for a few different centers very nice. Now I think it's time to go after Kara over here with Sataya Puta as well. And let's see what we can do about these guys. I am a little bit worried because our troops are still a little bit crap. But uh, 
let's find out what we can do. We've got a little bit of money if we do need some mercs. Well, the main thing is going to be sieging down this level 2 fort. Hopefully, Cola can get here in time as well. Well, here's the first battle. Let's see how we do against this 10k. We, we massively outnumber them. So there we go. Looks like we are going to win. Very nice indeed. And buildings cost us like next to nothing with our glorious ruler over here, guys. Like base cost 160 and it's 96 already at this stage of the game. What a Chad Lord. Well, now we've got 200 gold. We can plant the sacred Mahabodhi. Let's go for that. And let's go for our capital. And I was very worried for a second there because Chola wasn't transferring this over to us so it looks like they are going to very good i'll let them siege this down and then we'll take all of the land that we can let's also assault this fort it's only got 125 garrison very nice and now we've built some farming settlements we can do local food sources and i think while we have some decent amount of political influence let's change from the varna system which is just horrible to the rights to the ka Tria. <laughs> I'm sorry about this pronunciation, guys, but that is a lot, a lot better, isn't it? And let's kill a pig to get our stability back up. 0.5 at the moment. Very nice. Well, we do have 100% war score, but I'm just wondering if Cola might fancy transferring this across to us. If not, we'll have to peace out, but I'm just going to wait for a little bit and see what they do. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like Cola wants to uh, put this across to us, so... Ah, very annoying, but that's okay. We will just take this land here. Nice. Cola decided to break their alliance with us. That's no problem for us. Let's see what they have. They have no other allies either, so that's good for us. We can get an alliance with um, Tala, I'm going to say. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, YouTube might not be too happy. Tala. <laughs> so that's good. Now we can do glorious gemstones, which gives us some lovely tax bonuses. Nice. And now we're kind of just stuck <laughs> unfortunately until an opportunity presents itself we are kind of just stuck um our new ally doesn't want to help us with anything so i am trying to get another ally um up here minus two away from that and then maybe we can attack some of these other people i mean they'll come in for this one but like do we have enough to beat all of that? I mean, Kola is actually in this war. I think we need to go for that then. Let's uh, let's get our armies together. And it is so slow for these guys to walk around here without roads. Come on, boys. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> right, guys. Here we go once again. Let's see if we can take as much land out of here as possible. I'm hoping these guys take out Vanavasi. Uh, and then we can just focus down here. We, we really do need to get a move on because, as you can see... Everywhere is starting to get consolidated, making it harder and harder for us to fight. But let's go. And we're going to go for our first military tradition. And honestly, the Indian tribe traditions do have some really nice little bonuses in here. But if we go for this one, we get levy size and four innovations. So I really can't turn that down. And I think we'll use them mainly for military because we are still very much lacking in terms of our military. Well, there we go. The first fort has fallen. Hopefully we can come and defend our fort here. And then we can get onto this level two fort as well. Nice. And of course we lost it. The game just does not want me to play today. <laughs> we assaulted it straight away. So hopefully we can still catch these guys. Let's go. Come on. And there we go. Looks like we are going to catch them. Wow. This, uh, this siege was incredibly quick. Don't know why, but it was. Let's just have a look at this battle, though. Let's see how we do. And looks like we are going to win. Fantastic. Well, here's another 5k that we can uh, smash backwards. Awesome. Let's get Vanavasi out of this war. Well, the main thing here, I'm hoping that we take this so that these guys can't take it. And then we are just going to annex all of this land, guys. Let's go. Well, then, 100% war score, guys. Let's see what we can do, whether we can take all of this. Hopefully, we can. And it literally wasn't even much war score at all or much aggressive expansion very nice let's take it all and that allows us to do karen consolidation giving us stability and there's a chance that our leader gets blood of Kera as well let's see whether he gets that and unfortunately he didn't we can now also subjugate the maldives so let's do that i've also began building a couple of great temples we're not making much money at the moment but um yeah they are going to really help out you know getting these guys our religion because obviously over here there is literally no one of our religion unfortunately <laughs> and we can instantly go after cola so um yeah let's do that well here we go boys let's get into them here and our ally is already in a war up in the north so i'm not sure they're going to help us too much 
But I am hoping that we can uh, take Kohler out. And honestly, guys, I don't know why so few people play in India, like in terms of on YouTube and all that sort of stuff. I don't know about you guys at home, but I would assume most people do play in Europe. I mean, it's the same with all Paradox games, really, isn't it, though? But I'm having a great time over here in India. I hope you guys are too. Make sure you do like and subscribe if you are. Well, that's the first siege done. So let's get moving. They are starting to move troops down here now. So is our ally. So yeah, looks like they have finished off that war. Good. And unfortunately, someone else has jumped on this opportunity. So yeah, that's going to be a little bit annoying to deal with. And luckily, they managed to piece out of this. So we still have a good opportunity. Now we've got Scorpio and Siege Towers. That should really help. Honestly, guys, you get so little aggressive expansion over here. It's fantastic. <laughs> well, there we go. 100% war score, my boys. Very nice indeed. And we can take everything for literally nothing. Like... <laughs> This is so nice. It's so, so nice. And now we're a major power as well. Awesome. Look at that. We are juicy on the map, aren't we? This also allows us to do the Cholan challenge over here, getting some political influence. And there's a chance he'll gain blood of Chola as well. We've seen that that not happened, so we can also do Pandayan Problem 2. Awesome. And he actually did get the Blood of Cholas. Nice. Build Cost and War Elephant Discipline. Awesome. That is fantastic. And he didn't get any of the others. Well, now we can do Lankan Dominance, giving National Commerce Income and Popper Simulation Speed for 300 months. Fantastic. And let's clean up all of these forts. I think, honestly, because our aggressive expansion is so low, guys, we're going to just carry on going north. Well, what we're going to do, guys, we are going to declare war across here. And then I'm going to declare war on there because Katala can't come in. So that is good. Let's go for that. That should really help us out here. And uh, let's see what we can do. And now we can call our ally in. Fantastic. That's awesome. That breaks their alliance as well. Awesome. And of course, every single time we're about to relieve the siege, they win it on 14%. Hmm, I wonder what's happening there. <laughs> Let's test ourselves against Andara over here. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, we're highly outnumbering them. And, uh... Okay, yeah, we're doing well. Good, 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 good. Well, unfortunately, our ally is not handing back this land... So maybe we can wait until they get out of this war because they are pretty occupied. But, oh, well, luckily, because we took the provincial capital, it doesn't even matter. So, yes, let's go for this. Not even much aggressive expansion again. I think this is the highest aggressive expansion we've had all game. And finally, we got a province with a tiny bit of Vedic. Yeah, <laughs> finally, we had to come quite a long way to get it, didn't we? Well, I think let's just chill for a little bit. Let our levies recover and just see... What sort of size levies we can get very soon? Well, time to chill for a little bit, guys. We'll try and stabilize, try and convert some populace, and then we're going to go after the aptly named guys. <laughs> and I've moved a few slaves around, so now we can do the spices of Lanka as well. Nice, giving base resource production of spices. Spicy spices, <laughs> nice. And now we can do state investments as well, which is 10 stability and a bit of benefit to our technology for 300 months. Awesome. There we go. We've done a bit of building and moved some pops around again. And we can do developing Anuradhapura over here. Local tax, population capacity, and city building slots. Awesome. Now, this mission gives us integrated culture happiness plus 4%. I don't think we need that because our integrated culture happiness is already rather high. So let's finish these missions over here, giving our guy three province investments and and extra of finesse and martial. Very nice indeed. Well then, guys, let's go for Vijayan Reclamation. I believe that's another unique set of missions. So um, let's have a look at this then. Very nice. Pushing north over here. Gain claims on the regions of Dravida and Karnata. And let's just have a look at what uh, what we've got here. Oh, my God. Uh, yes. <laughs> There's quite a lot to do, I guess. <laughs> so let's take this mission then. Nice. There we can see all the claims that we do have now. Fantastic. Well, the issue here is that we don't really have many options for allies where we're not going to be expanding. So I am going to ally these boys over here. We are still trying to get an alliance with Moria. 
Whether that happens or not is a different question. And now we can get gradual economic integration. Awesome, guys. Let's go. And the reason why we haven't integrated any more cultures, guys, first of all, Tamil is mainly slaves. So, um, yeah, no point in doing that. And they're all kind of just like about the same size culture groups, all the big ones. So, yeah, it's, it's probably not going to be worth it too much to integrate any more of these until we get further north. Well, guys, we declined a call to arms from our ally. Classic move. Let's go for Vanavasi over here. Uh, our actual ally won't come in, but they are distracted right now. So I don't think this is going to be too bad. Uh, but let's find out, shall we? <laughs> Ooh, and someone else has declared war on us. Kalinga over here. So... We basically need to rush out of this war as quick as possible. That's rather annoying, honestly. Um, maybe we divert these troops over this way. And honestly, Kalinga hasn't done anything. So I am kind of thinking that maybe Pallada should just deal with them. And we use these guys to get rid of some of these boys. And man, it is slow to move around India. I know how big India is in real life, but yeah. <laughs> It is so slow. These guys take forever to get anywhere. And on to the big fort in the middle, boys. And there we go. The main fort is destroyed, my friends. So this should allow us to peace out pretty soon. I mean, we can partition it with uh, P uh, Pitanika over here. No problem with that. And yeah, we're going to lose this battle, but that really doesn't matter when we're going to take basically all of their land. And we really need to get force march, I tell you. Because we have enough troops to kill these guys, we just cannot catch them. <laughs> well, there we go. This is going to be a little bit of aggressive expansion, but we've got the stability to hack it. So uh, let's go for that, guys. And then let's take this too. And look at us now. Very nice indeed. This allows us to do Dravidian dominance, which gives us stability and culture happiness for Dravidian as well. Fantastic. And then we can also do the Southern Consolidation, giving us a bit of money and a couple of other things. And I know I said this needed to be a chill one, guys, but <laughs> what's the point? Like, we, we have half of India already. We might as well, uh, you know, fulfill a lot of these missions and try and take a decent chunk anyway. Not, not all of India, maybe, but... A decent chunk. Besides, I'm having a lot of fun. And we just don't even get any war exhaustion for all of this. Like, it's... I, I don't understand. We're like a tank of a nation. It's, it's pretty awesome, to be fair. And there we go, guys. And it's not even that much aggressive expansion. I mean, after playing Rome earlier this week and taking 60 aggressive expansion for a couple of provinces in North Africa, this is like... A dream come true, honestly. <laughs> Let's go. Now, of course, we do still have a lot of aggressive expansion right now. So, um, yeah, we will have to chill for a little while. But that will allow us to uh, maybe hopefully bring some of this pops around to our, our religion and maybe our culture as well. But look at that. Finally, some Vedic population over here. Well, our main issue now, guys, is the fact that Moria is definitely a lot stronger than us. Like, we look big. But we're really not that big, honestly. <laughs> like, just in terms of our cultures, like the cultures that we have integrated, the two of them, it's only about 600 pops. So, yeah, that's not too good. Um, and, of course, Moria has 5,000 of them. 500 of their primary culture. So, I suppose we're about equal, but they will have a few more integrated pops from the start, I believe, Moria. So, um... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Well, our leader died, so let's choose another personal deity. Honestly, I'm going to go for Ganga. I know it doesn't seem like a good bonus, but that's going to help us build our grand temples and grand theatres all across the land a lot cheaper and a lot quicker. So let's go for Ganga. Now let's start integrating the Maldives as well. Nice. Oh, and now we can do Lankan construction, guys. Build cost and build time permanently very nice indeed well guys i think it's time to go back to war we're going to go to war with all three of these boys i am still looking for allies against the morians parthia is my main option at the minute but they are a long way away from becoming an ally bactria is a potential one but how much are bactria going to be able to do i mean i guess they could be a thorn in their side so we will try and ally them and moria declared war on us themselves um I mean, that's not good. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's really not good. Let's get some mercs. And basically, we just want to try and survive this war. I mean, the good thing is we are pretty protected by forts up here. So, 
Yeah, I mean, if we can take this little piece of land, it will actually fulfill a mission, but I think we're a little bit ambitious with that. <laughs> and there goes the first fort, guys. Not good. Well, guys, I think we're just going to have to take this and focus on Moria, so uh, let's go. And Moria has an army down here. That's not so fun. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, we actually managed to uh, push them back there. Very nice indeed. All we need to do now is just take these guys, take back Radper, and then uh, they'll lose like half of their war score. Good. Oh my god, we literally just took the siege as they are attacking. That's kind of insane. So we need to take this back, and then we might even have positive war score. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Well, we're not winning that, are we? So, um... Let's retreat from that at least and go and defend our troops there. And then we should own this land, really. I don't know why we don't, but okay. And unfortunately, this fort is in a very unfortunate position because they can just walk through here. I think before we go to war with them next, we're going to build a city here and build a nice large fort as well. Well, here we go, boys. Massive battle against 30,000 troops. Let's see how we do. Looks like we are losing at the moment, but there we go. We're going to pull through. Very nice indeed. Now we've got positive war score. <laughs> and they've taken it back. Oh, no. Right, we need to get on there as soon as we can. Come on, boys. Let's go. And I think what we'll do is we'll just assault it. I think we need to take this opportunity to assault. So let's go. There we go. We've got it back. We've got it back. And there we go, guys. We can actually take this little bit of land, which we needed for a mission. So, um... I think that war's gone quite well. And that allows us to do reclaiming our heritage. And let's see what this does. This just gives us heritage of Sinhapura over here. Uh, which basically found city cost. That's pretty good. I think we'll take it. We're also going to go for the anti-piracy edict, guys. Because we need it for a mission. So uh, let's go for that. And we have a bit of an independence war now. That's no problem. We'll be able to deal with that rather quickly, I think. And there's another one as well. Great. Well, there we go. At least we have dealt with this one. Honestly, guys. This is just horrible now, like, starting as the wrong culture and wrong religious group for this region is just screwing us over so badly. Like, we make no money. Like, we make no money. How many pops do you think we have? We've got nearly 4,000 pops, and we're on high taxes, and we make 29... Uh, it's, it's absolute horror, honestly. <laughs> it's not good. I think, honestly, guys, to stop all of these revolts in the north, we need to integrate another culture. And having a look at it, Kalingan over here is quite a big culture. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to do that. That should help out quite a bit. Let's also ally with Sumper. I know they're not much, guys. <laughs> But it's something, right? It's something. <laughs> and there we go. I think we take this now as well. There we go. Oh, man. This is this is horrible. <laughs> and look at Moria go. That is not nice at all. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, guys. Oh, dearie me. Oh, and we can get an alliance with Parthia. Nice. Oh, and we did get Morian Collapse as well. So we get a, a, a special war goal on them. Let's see. Ultimately, though, guys, I think we really do need Parthia's help in this if we're going to go for one last Hail Mary sort of war. I really don't know why Parthia can't peace out of this war. Like, there's this little piece of land here. That's all they're fighting. They're literally fighting this. Just take it, Parthia, for God's sake. You idiots, honestly. This is do my head in. Come on. Ooh, and this just did pop out of Moria. We can maybe go for that, so uh, let's do that. And I did clean up this little area as well. Well, then, there we go. That is nice. Nice clean borders now, guys. So I basically just want to take this little bit of land off Moria, if we can, just to have nice clean borders, really, and have a nice line across India there. Um, unfortunately, Parthia is now in a revolt, so there's no way that they're going to be able to help me out. I was trying to get Yankai to help out, and they're not going to, so I think we just go for it. And even these guys that we got won't even come in either, so uh, it's Sumper and us versus Moria. <laughs> oh no. They've got 21 stability. I mean, that's one good thing for us. So, um, yeah. Where did I declare the war for, though? Okay, it was that that province. So, basically, I just want to sit on this province 
and then that's it. I don't really care about anything else. <laughs> and we ha we can actually call Gandara in now. Nice. Well, Sumpa's got 9k troops. That's not nothing. And hopefully that will distract their troops at least. Well, we've now got the war goal. And uh, I'm really not bothered about actually fighting them. I just want to take the war goal and get this over and done with. Because <laughs> it is painful right now. Oh, Sumpa's actually got 32k troops. Um, fair enough. That's more than me, really. <laughs> Not quite, but it is close to being more than us. So yeah, fair play to Sumper, the boys. Let's go. I think we siege down their capital just for the bants. Oh, and they got a massive revolt in the north. That is amazing for us. Nice. And here come the re rebelling boys. Nice, 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 nice. That is fantastic. Come on, the Sumper boys. Let's go. Sumper, 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 Sumper. And for every single city, we're doing a non shall hide, guys. <laughs> that's, that's how it's going against these boys. And there goes their capital. Awesome. And the Seleucids are all the way over here. Fair play. <laughs> and now people are starting to sort of collapse out of them. Like Chunga here has come. Nice. And these guys managed to take quite a big chunk of land. Fair play to them. And they are definitely starting to fall apart a bit. I mean, they've not taken any of this land back. So, I mean, it's pretty good for us, that, right? And we have like pretty much full occupied Moria now as well, which is um, pretty cool. Honestly, pretty cool. Well, this is what we can take from Moria, guys. It is a lot of land, and it's also lovely, lovely borders. So uh, let's do that. We get the conquest of Pataliputra over here. The metropolis of Pataliputra has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. It's played an important role in the regional politics for a long time, being both the capital of Shishunaga and Nada, Nanda empires before it was captured by the Morians, and eventually became the capital of their empire as well being at the center of several empires for the commerce of the region has turned Pataliputra into a marvelous city to behold, one that other cities and nations can only hope to copy. Yes, I think we will make it stand untouched. At least this land in the north is Vedic, so um, it shouldn't be as bad as some of this land down in the south. And that allows us to do this mission here. We can also do the Tooth of Buddha giving civilization value and output. And we can do Prasayan Push over here to give claims on all of this region. Honestly though guys, I am happy where this is now. I think we've had a lot of fun with this. Taking out Moria at the end was very much fun as they have basically collapsed. Which is uh, kind of cool to see. They're still at war with... Um, someone else though as well so that's pretty funny yeah these boys down here but i think we have proved that we are the greatest power in india and have created a monstrous empire in the south of india as well well i hope you did enjoy this guys if you did a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated it really does help the channel out and just so you know guys we did all of that with just 450 lankan population so uh, that was no mean feat <laughs> to do that with some very unhappy populace in here i mean only like 55 percent of our population is our religion as well i know that sounds like a lot but that has been hugely bolstered by the lands that we've just taken um, especially like this area over here that has a load of population um but yeah it's been a uh, painful but fun so uh, we answered why no one plays in this region you know it it's it's pretty fun i would recommend playing in this region if you haven't before but anyway guys i'll see you all again on the next video and once again massive thank you to pascal david and cowie being the channel members if you are interested in becoming a channel member guys for as little as one dollar a month check out the link down in the description below